Hey everybody, my name is Domo Padula. I'm owner-operator at Blow Groomers. Um, I've been in the hair industry for about 30 years and I've seen my fair share of tools as far as blow dryers, scissors, combs, you name it. As a stylist, I've always, always, always been very particular about the tools that I use and, and was very hesitant to change and we've always been introduced to so many new things and I've been always approached to like try several things. I always go back to my trusted and true. My one blow dryer was always the Elchim, um, the, the, known as the red dryer. And I always went back to it because it was just easy for me to use. I was like the, the weight of it, the speed of it, and so on and so forth. No matter how much I tried, there's always something wrong with other blow dryers. A friend of mine, Jonathan, um, came by with this, this Gamma, which is the IQ Perfetto blow dryer. First of all, look. I don't, I, sh I don't have much more to say. The, the look itself, it's Italian. It's not just Italian design, it's actually made in Italy. A lot of things claim to be made in Italy, actually designed in Italy. This is fully made 100% in Italy. Gamma Professional. The feel is honestly probably the nicest thing I've ever held in my hand. Not just the texture of the material that's used, almost feels like a rubber on your hand, but it's actually the light weight of it. The blow dryer itself has a nozzle, which to me is extremely important. I've used the Dyson, and this is not to knock the Dyson at all because it's got great power, great speed, great heat. The one problem with the Dyson for me is its controls on the handles and its narrowness. That basically, it being so narrow, I always feel with the nozzle, I'm too close to the person's face. I've always felt when I'm using it on my guest that I'm basically, I'm right up in their face and it was very uncomfortable for me. Almost cumbersome because of the size of it. This is sleek. It's slim, it's amazing. It's got the length of nozzle with, a, with, with two different size nozzles. So even if you're working on, whether it's men's hair, women's short hair, or long hair, or you're doing brush curls, it's got a certain width that with the brush, it's no problem. The diffuser too, great size, perfect weight. Everything just works very, very easily. One thing I always, always hated about most blow dryers I've ever used is the controls. And why I hated the controls is because they're always on the handle and always on the inside, like this one. So I set, open it up, get it to go, and as I'm brushing or blow drying and doing my twists and my curls and my turns or what have you, my hand keeps knocking the buttons. And it changes the temperature or slows it down. And that would be the one thing that I hated having to adjust or always get used to. So it would always bring me back to the Elchim. This has a locking mechanism. So once I've chosen my temperature and I've chosen my speed, I lock it. Beauty about that, I can twist and turn and blow dry any single way I want. And I always, always have the exact speed and temperature that I wanted on my, on my guest. It's got the cool shot. The cool shot works even when the blow dryer is locked, which is fantastic. So, what do I love about the blow dryer? I love the look, 100%. The weight, phenomenal. The speed and heat, probably the best I've ever used as far as speed and heat is concerned. I can get extreme heat and I can get extreme speed. What do I dislike? Oh, well, wait, like the cord. It doesn't tangle, which is amazing. And it's got, I think they're gonna be changing. The one that I have right now is actually uh, a little short of a cord. I think they're gonna be having a nine foot cord, I, if I remember correctly. But it will be a longer cord to wrap around the chair, no problem. So I'm excited about that. The weight of it is pretty much about the weight of two iPhones which is fairly lightweight. That's pretty impressive. One thing that really I noticed right away when using it, I started last week, he brought it by, my buddy brought it by for me to try. I'm gonna turn it on for you and I want you to just hear this. Now, I don't know, because right now I don't hear it anymore. What I mean by I don't hear it anymore is when I first started with this blow dryer, the first thing that initially 
triggered me was it's got this kind of like whistling sound, almost like a wheezing sound. The way the turbine works is it creates this intake vent, right? So that's where you're getting that sound from. And at first, it's very different than most blow dryers. Very much like the, uh, the Dyson, it's very different than most blow dryers. So that noise was very different. But within two blow dryers, I completely forgot about it and it didn't bother me at all. So it's something that I could definitely get used to. And that was probably the only thing that I felt was a little bit different or something that bothered me, if you will, about the blow dryer. But like I said, within two blow dries in, I this it had me. It had me at hello. Like this thing is just beautiful to look at. It's great to work with. And at the end of the day, come on. You pull this out in front of a client, like this is automatically a, a a guaranteed win another cool feature cleaning this so check this out I remove the back of it I turn it on off and then I hold the speed button fan button for eight seconds and now it goes on and it shoots the air out from the back self-cleaning for 15 seconds and you can't shut it off when this is going on. So for 15 seconds, it just basically self-cleans its. So it's just basically self-cleaned. Put back my back end. And where are we going here? There we go. And there you have it. The gamma. It will be out. Uh, I believe I was told mid-October. I have to say, I give this a full, full five-star rating. There you have it. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video.